Welcome to the third installment of the State Bar of Georgia Legislative Update for 2012. Uh, today is January 27th, 2012. I'm Ken Shigley, President of the State Bar, and with me is Tom Bowler, who has uh, worked on legislation for the Bar for many years. A uh, couple of the highlights this week. Uh, first, uh, uh, Chief Justice Carol Hunstein uh, knocked it out of the park with her State of the Judiciary Address. She gave a very strong statement on the need for uh, sentencing reform, criminal justice reform. Had the privilege of uh, being with her and a number of legislators and judges on the Criminal Justice Reform Council. Uh, we expect to see um, a bill come out in draft uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks and start circulating. Uh, it will go through our uh, State Bar Criminal Justice uh, Reform Committee as well as other uh, uh, what they call stakeholder groups uh, for tweaking. Uh, it has the backing of uh, Governor Deal, uh, Chief Justice Einstein, the Lieutenant Governor, and the Speaker. And um, uh, that is a work in progress right now. Uh, Chief Justice Einstein made a, a strong pitch about the need for uh, increased emphasis on accountability courts, uh, other aspects of sentencing reform. And she also uh, threw in a pitch for electronic court filing, which is one of the things we've been working on in the State Bar for a good while. Uh, if you want to uh, see the text of her speech, uh, there's a link to it on the bar website. Uh, earlier this week, um, a, a bill to pass the Uniform Interstate Depositions and Discovery Act, uh, which was sponsored by Representative Edward Lindsay, uh, passed in the Senate. It came close last year and didn't quite get over the finish line. Uh, this will enable Georgia lawyers uh, to utilize a very simplified, streamlined process for getting subpoenas for depositions, document production, and uh, inspection of premises in other states that have also passed the bill. Roughly half of the states have passed this and it's spreading around. Next week at the uh, Southern Conference of Bar Presidents, I will encourage uh, my counterparts from the other southern states uh, to put it on their legislative agendas as well so they can uh, take advantage of it in Georgia and we'll be able to take advantage of it in their states. Um, uh, Tom, uh, talk to us about other things that are going on. Okay. Uh, uh, the pace of activity in the legislature is picking up. Uh, in addition to uh, uh, the Chief Justice's speech to uh, the joint uh, session of the General Assembly and the passage of Uniform Depositions Act in the Senate, we also had uh, initial hearings this week on uh, legislation uh, that will uh, create a constitutional amendment that will dedicate funding uh, from uh, filing fees currently being collected uh, to indigent defense. Uh, as you're probably aware, uh, uh, filing fees were increased, filings on civil filings, filing fees on civil filings were increased by $15 to fund the Indigent Defense uh, and Public Defender Standards Council uh, back in 2003. Uh, but not all that money has always been used to fund indigent defense. It has been used for other purposes, and, uh, and uh, the, the, the money appropriated has been anywhere from three to five million dollars less than the money raised by the filing fees. This legislation uh, dedicates that money uh, to indigent defense and will guarantee that it is funded. Uh, hearings were held this week. Uh, I feel uh, very positive about uh, the final outcome. I expect that the uh, House uh, Judiciary uh, Non-Civil Committee, chaired by Rich Golick, uh, will pass that legislation out early next week, and I would be expect to see it on the floor uh, within the next week week or two. Uh, in addition to that, there were uh, a variety of bills introduced, uh, uh, including uh, cleanup legislation from last year's uh, comprehensive uh, jury pool legislation that was passed. Uh, these are just technical amendments. We also had hearings on a tax court tribunal to be created in the uh, Department of Revenue. Uh, next week, I expect that we're going to have intense hearings on uh, the judicial budget. Uh, we'll have committee activity, as I said, on indigent defense. I think we'll have hearings on uh, the bar's legislation uh, to uh, improve uh, the international commercial arbitration uh, code that we have in this state. I think we'll have hearings next week also on 
uh, on legislation sponsored by the bar to prohibit rural real estate uh, transfer fee covenants uh, being placed in real estate documents. So uh, all in all, uh, the legislature is picking up. It's going to be uh, uh, very busy next two weeks, three weeks especially. Uh, I urge you to uh, go to the state bar website and uh, where you can uh, link to uh, all the legislation that, uh, that is of interest to lawyers and all the legislation that is uh, uh, bar sponsored and bar endorsed. Uh, this morning, uh, Tom and I sat through uh, a civil, uh, not a, a House Judicial Non-Civil uh, Committee hearing, uh, which we were attending to uh, speak on behalf of the dedicated funding for indigent defense. Uh, of course, the chairman said everything I was going to say, so I didn't say anything. Uh, at the same meeting, they uh, uh, heard testimony about the uh, American Laws for American Courts bill, on which the bar has not taken any official position at all. Uh, there were some um, a representative of the Catholic Church and, represent, and individual uh, attorneys there from big firms who handle international practice who expressed their opinions, um, after which it was referred back to subcommittee to uh, uh, do some work. Um, and finally, um, we keep hearing from lawyer legislators about how hard it is to serve in the legislature uh, with the uh, sessions getting longer and longer compared to what they used to be. Uh, this week the House passed a resolution for a calendar, which uh, they hope they can get out by the end of March. Um, we'll see how that goes. We wish them luck. Uh, but the, the, the sausage factory grinds on and uh, we have an awful lot of very conscientious uh, hard-working uh, lawyer legislators down there who are trying to do a good job. We'll talk to you next week, and if you have any questions or comments, please let us hear from you.